Welcome to Rahway, the station connecting the North Jersey coastline to the Northeast Corridor. Major infrastructure upgrades are happening in the Hudson Tunnel, so expect some queues into New York Penn. All right, uh, so apparently the deal with this scenario, it's called uh, Hudson Havoc. Of course, it didn't give me enough time to finish reading it there, but I'm just expecting things to be a little bit slower uh, with traffic. So that's probably going to be the only difference. This is going to be a little bit of a longer one, uh, about an hour, I believe, is the runtime for this. So we'll see how all of that goes. Hopefully very smoothly. Here in Rahway, let's take a look at the station. ACS 64 going by there. Rules of conduct. What does the last one say? No music playing audibly to others. Interesting. Nice benches there. Like I said in the uh, initial thoughts video, the stations are actually very nice. Let's listen to the doors close. Kind of a strange sound, if you ask me. Let's get up here. Uh, watch us depart. Let's bring off the automatic brake. So the brake's a little bit weird here. Um, it's a little bit of a challenge. I might be struggling with it a little bit, as I'm still getting used to it. It's the uh, lap, hold, service, all that good stuff. All right. Let's get the HUD off. Get moving here. I have the ditch lights off. Um, actually, I'll turn them on. Let's see, ditch lights, ditch lights, where are you? Put them on manual. Let's get a shot. I had them off because they have some uh, issues. But I think if they're on manual, it should be fine. But I had them on auto and. Because, you know, they're supposed to flash with the bell. But it just was not working very well at all. Marker lights are on. That's good. All right, let's get the bell off. So I'm used to the Acela and the uh, ACS-64. So I'm going to have to get used to the slightly slower speeds, but still pretty quick. Hopefully the uh, weather will get a little bit nicer here towards the end of the scenario. The last episode with the um, high-speed U.S. scenario on Boston Sprinter, it was also pretty gray and foggy, so I don't know. It's just interesting. I don't know if they're doing that intentionally or what. All right, we're going to have to do some independent break here just to slow us down. I usually like to do independent brake on a hill, uh, going downhill, just because like, it kind of keeps you, like you can just put it on and it keeps you from picking up too much speed. I think it's like an easier way to do it. Alright, there we go. We got some freight cars in there now. Um, let's actually check that out. So I believe those are CSX cars. I know it doesn't say it, but... Those are not present in the timetables. Okay, we got to slow down here. Got a little bit caught up in some uh, other stuff. We're going to have to put a lot of brake on here. That's my bad. My bad on that one. So we're going to put put back some service here in just a second. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully we'll make it. Maybe not. Maybe. Ah, 
Oh, we're just going to miss it. That's not too bad, honestly. Put the independent brick on. Uh, I'll just release that. But yeah, so the, the freight, I did not see that in the timetable. Um, so it's just kind of here. I'm actually going to put these onto automatic, the ditch lights here, just to see what happens. I'm still experimenting with things on this route. But yeah, that's just frustrating to see that. And apparently we're going to see some LIRR stuff as well. So I'm going to keep my eye out for that. I don't know if we're going to be in an area that has that or not. Uh, what does this say? It took many attempts to get reapproval. Uh, rebuilding the tunnels may take many months to complete. Tunnels are close to 100 years old. So just some information about the Northeast Corridor rebuilding projects not really sure like why okay yeah see the lights there they just shut off um so they're on auto that's manual put it back on auto they just shut off and then once the um if i turn the bell on they're static and i turn it off they're static so there's clearly something wrong with that um Yeah, so this scenario so far doesn't seem to be much of a scenario. There just like seems more of like a history thing, which I honestly like that's fine. I was never I'm never really a big scenario guy. I just like to complete them cuz I feel like when you get all five scenarios done in a route, like it just feels kind of complete, I guess you could say in in some ways. So, so far, uh, we've only seen one ACS-64. We should count how many uh, trains we see. Okay, there's one right there. ALP-46. Marker lights are off on the back of that. All right, we got two miles. I'm going to try and pay a little bit more attention here. We got to slow down now. Just a little bit. Okay, we got to slow down a little bit more. It's all good, though. So something I've been wondering for a while... And I might put on like a, a poll on the community tab or something. Is Train Sim Classic worth it? Because I'm a guy that cares about good graphics. I mean, honestly, out of everything I care about, good graphics, I want things to look good. More than sounds and all that stuff. Um, the biggest thing for me is graphics. And that's why I don't have Train Sim Classic, because I know... <laughs> The graphics are, are pretty crap for the most part. But I'm just kind of curious, like, if you guys think it's worth it. Because I know Train Some Classic has a diehard community, for sure. And I don't fully understand that world at the moment. But I want to learn a little bit more about it. Um, and I'd be willing to check it out, for sure. Especially when it's on sale. It was like 10, 10 bucks during the winter sale. Um, so it's just something I'm interested in. Going back up to 55 here. Kill the throttle 
and wait a second to start applying brake. See, we got the platform up here. Probably right about now. Uh, I think that might have been a little too late. Let's release some. Yeah, it's it's a challenge. This braking system. It's a lot different. I might finally be able to um, play West Peninsula Corridor now because that kind of steered me away. All right, about the same as last time. One car short. It's not like that. I like despise learning new systems, but it's just sometimes you'd rather just stick with what you know than you know take the time to learn something new. Um, but yeah, I really got to hop on West Peninsula Corridor. I know it, I've already experienced like a bunch of issues with it. And I've only played like half a timetable, I'd say. I didn't even finish it. But I've just kind of avoided that for a few, a few reasons. But you know what? We got this channel now and uh, I'm sure we're going to do a video on it at some point. I really want to drive the baby bullet. I mean, that's... Honestly, that's pretty much why I got it. Okay, we're, uh, we gotta shut the brake off, I think. Okay, we're on emergency, didn't mean to do that. See, this thing. All right, there we go, we're good. Nice thing about this train is if you buy something and put it in the emergency, it's pretty easy to recover, unlike some other trains. Um, anyway, like I was saying, the main reason why I got West, uh, Peninsula Corridor, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, Caltrain Route. It wasn't for the F40, it was for um, the Baby Bullet, and that was the main reason. I like the layers too, there's a good amount of stuff there, Union Pacific, uh, you got the Switcher, whatever that's called. Um, you got the cab car as well. So it's it's a good amount of stuff over there. It's kind of like it's kind of like this route. I mean, you could certainly compare it to this. Um, I don't know how good the timetable is over there or any of that stuff, but let's put this up to ten here. We only have so we have a go via location. So it's probably going to tell us some silly fact about the Hudson Tunnel or something. But we'll see what happens. We're already here, so I mean, I think it's just going to be a crawl into Penn Station. Because normally this would not take. What time are we going to get there? Let's see. Not take like 30 more minutes to do that. We'll see. Another ACS 64 that's through train so far. <sighs> Nothing? You're not going to tell us anything. Interesting. Okay. I was almost certain we were going to get a fun fact there. Uh, we'll put on the independent break. It's the same soccer field in every route. I'm not complaining too much, but it's all the same. Boston's the same. Birmingham Cross City's the same. Trenton is the same. A little bit of an incline here. Yeah, the weather is really just miserable, isn't it? Let's get a shot here. I love that horn. 
I'll say anything about this route, but I love that horn so much. It's probably, honestly, it's probably like my favorite horn at the moment. Def definitely in this route. Uh, ACS 64 has a good horn too. Cab car also has a nice horn. The Amphi cab car. I don't know about the um, this cab car. Uh, we'll have to check that out at some point for sure. Do some independent brake here. I'm going to get a red. I think we're going to get a red. Hopefully there's not too much sitting around at signals because that would just be kind of a boring video, but we'll see. A lot of time left. Start breaking a little bit here. How? Okay, so we're running a little bit late somehow, about 30 seconds late. I don't know how. All right, let's give it some more service here. I'm not sure if anyone knows what the difference between hold and lap is. Leave a comment down below because I, I really do not understand that. I'll be honest. Open the doors. Let's get the independent brake on. There we go. I love this station. You can probably get a nice shot here. Let's see. We'll, uh, we got a couple seconds. Let's see what the cab, cab car horn sounds like. Get down here. Ah. Zoom out. So it sounds pretty much the same. All right, we're, we're messing up here a little bit. That's not where I wanted to be. Okay, there we go. It's all good, a little hiccup there. Unlock the wrong doors. Uh, shut off the independent brake. And we should be good to go. All right, sec. I don't know why they included those boards if they're not gonna be on. And all, all it is is the flickering, uh, the anti-aliasing issues there. Like, I don't understand what the point of that was. Like, if you're going to put something like that in there, it might as well work. All right, bring it up to 10. The sounds of the, the cars are so heavy. It's kind of like, I don't know, that's the best way I can describe it. Like, every time I move the camera back there, I think there's another train going by because it's such, like, a powerful sound. All right, got a yellow here. I'm feeling a red coming up. I'm not going to lie. Keeping an eye out for the LIR. Okay, that's train number four over there. Another ALP 46. So that's what, two ACS 64s and two ALP 46. Noah Sella so far. Uh, or anything like that. Safety systems have been awfully quiet. Not gonna lie. Sun's starting to come out here. This is actually, this is gonna be nice as we head into New York.
I really wish they would add some diesel, like American. Di I, I don't mean like freight, like I mean like diesel rail. Um, we did, I guess we did see some of that in Boston and Caltrain, but like some long distance rail would be cool to see, like the GP40 or GPE40 Amtrak. I think that's what it's called. That would be awesome to see that. Or whatever it's being replaced by. It's by the Siemens AC46. Something like that. It looks kind of like the ACS64. A little bit different. But it would just be really cool to see some of that in the game. You could combine that nicely with like Cajon Pass or the freight routes stuff like that and you know like you don't need to see it all the time um, but just once in a while pass by one of those that would be pretty cool Pantograph is still up, shockingly. Alright, so we do have a red up here finally. I think that's our first red uh, today, with many more to come, if I had to guess. Wow, we're the only ones in here. This is usually a pretty busy station, but it looks like it's just us. Not shocked. Not shocked at all. And what you're going to see is I believe they make the scenarios a little bit busier than the um, timetables. Why they do that, I don't know. Don't expect to be able to keep to time beyond this point. Looks like we'll be waiting for a free path. Alright, so I'm going to cut out the parts where we're just sitting here because um, I know this is going to be a longer video and no one really wants to just see us sitting here for a while. So I'll just cut to when we get going again. Alright, so good to go here. Got a yellow. Once again, unrealistically, once I shut my doors, um, the signal decided it was time to turn yellow. Why it does that, I'll never understand. It's the same thing, like, when, you, when it wants you to, like, move up to the perfect position, and then it'll turn green. Because I can't, I can't believe for a second that that's how it works in real life. It's just annoying. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't, we didn't have to wait there at all either. I thought um, it was going to make us sit there for a little bit. Got this nice bridge. Let's try and get a shot. Come over here. Slow down here a little bit. Another green. Okay, I'm kind of surprised. Not going to lie. Turn the independent brake on here. Waiting to see train number five here. Count is at four. I'm on the edge of my seat to see. Okay, see what's next.
Is it fall? Yeah, it must be fall. Let's see. Yeah, October. Trees look nice. Get up to 60 here. Probably not really going to get up to 60, though. It's going to keep us at a low speed, if I had to guess. Because we're only about halfway through, uh, according to time. Let's see. Empty yard over there. That hasn't changed. I saw a uh, thing they posted on the forums about updating some... It was a patch with some, like, they said they fixed lighting issues on the ALP-46 and a couple other things that needed to be done. I, and my game's fully updated, and nothing's changed, so I don't know what that's all about. I don't know if that didn't come out yet or what, but the wording they used led me to believe that it already came out and everything's the same, so I don't know what that's all about, but see, like, there's these freight boxes everywhere, and they're just totally missing out. There should definitely be some... It doesn't even have to be move. Like, it can be static freight. Like, that's completely fine, but... We all know southeastern high speed, and uh, even West Peninsula Corridor, you know, they, they all have freight. I believe it's uh, non-static freight. I think it actually moves. Why can't we have that here? There's just no excuse for that. Same thing with the LIRR. Even though apparently it's on this timetable somewhere. Or sorry, scenario somewhere. So I'm going to look out for a ghostly M3 to whiz by. And there's a certain, only a certain section probably more towards Penn Station um, where they are might be actually it's probably over there if I had to guess well no that's a yard so it's maybe, maybe it's not over there but keeping my eyes out Plane in the background over there. I love the livery on these things. It's so cool. It's really like simple design, but it's just kind of like abstract and and modern. I like it a lot. Let's see if the. Uh, texture issue. Yeah, there it is. See? Those black lines appearing. You zoom in and out. Alright. Um, cutting back the speed here. Once again. I feel like this is how low can you go that song uh, okay hopefully we don't okay well no we're almost to Secaucus but hopefully we don't get any lower than 30 because I, I'm not understanding how it's gonna take us all right getting down more here Let's see. So 1535, apparently we're going to be at New York Penn. Um, so 1535, that's in about 14 minutes. So it's more 45 minutes. It's not really an hour, like it says on the front, which is interesting. 
I, I didn't think, because, like, we started at Rahway, and I was just trying thinking to myself, how, how in the world is this going to take an hour? But the times on the scenarios are exaggerated a little bit, but I don't know. We might hit a bunch of signals or something, but we'll see. Told us we didn't have to stick to the uh, time, so... Is there is there someone in front of us or something? Like this isn't making a whole lot of sense. I'm not gonna lie. Like, cause if there's no one in the station, which let's see, there clearly isn't. The only people here. We've only seen four trains so far. Like, it's kind of a weird scenario. I like the dome on top, that's a nice dome. Looks like a toll booth, that's actually kind of a cool feature. That would be easy pass. Let's turn on the bell here. Not another train in sight, folks. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. Okay, we want to watch the break here because if we screw it up, we're going to pass the red signal and the game's going to start crying and it's going to be a complete disaster. So we don't want to stop this far back, but want to be able to stop as soon as possible. That looks good to me. All right, we're moving again after the mystery signal change. Uh, our right doors are open for some reason. Must have hit that by accident. Uh, automatic brake, turn that off. Good to go. Get the bell on. Crack open the window here, get some nice fall air in the cabin. I'm pretty sure it's called a cabin, maybe not. Bring it up to 10 here. Oh, that's actually cool. So you have to open up the cover to um, mess around with these switches. That's neat. You can really hear the tracks better with the window open. So I'm having a feeling that once we get up here, we're going to get um, some sort of a announcement or something that's really going to delay us here. I'm surprised we're switching track at that high of a speed. You can hear the nice wind sound coming through the window as well. Don't forget to make yourself known to maintenance of way workers nearby the line. Okay, whatever that means. I think it's telling us to honk our horn. Uh, so apparently we're going to see some maintenance workers. Put the window back up. Don't want it to get too chilly. For some reason, I have a feeling like they said that, but they like ran out of time to put in the maintenance workers next to the track. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that. Um, doubtful. No, they're right here. Look at that. 
What's up, guys? Oh my gosh, I just thought traffic cones were maintenance people. It's my mistake. Because, you know, it takes a second. Things, things are really blurry from that far away, but... Put some independent brake on here. It's a really steep incline. The end of the tunnel situation is still not great. It's really just like a gaping white hole. And we're not supposed we're certainly not supposed to see that. It should just be black, honestly. Because there is no light at the end of the tunnel since we're going into Penn Station. Um and we're going downhill, so that's really unrealistic. So yeah, out on the line, we only saw a total of four trains. That's that's pretty disappointing. No Acela. I don't know. Maybe they didn't include the Acela in the uh, scenario. Well, actually, we'll see here in just a second if they're in Penn Station. That wouldn't make sense, though, because, like, if they layer in the LIRR for scenarios, if you own that, then they're going to they're gonna have to layer in the Acela, too. Or maybe not, because there's some pretty nonsensical stuff going on in here, I'm not going to lie. Okay, we're still going down. Oh, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Okay. We're good. It's just lots of being pulled back and having to push forward and all that stuff. Run one right, one right after another. Wow, I am really tripping over my R's today. <laughs> Going down to 15 here in a couple hundred feet. I guess we're going down to 15 now. So, there you go. No, we're only going down to 20. I'm just going to go down to 15. Because it's just going to do that in about five seconds. Excellent. All right. I haven't, I mean, maybe it's because another train hasn't gone by yet, but I was having an issue before where you could actually see the headlight of the other train go, like, by on the wall. Like, you can see the reflections of this uh, light on the side of the tunnel. But, like, if a train in the tunnel next to us went by, you could see that light coming at us reflected on the walls. As if it were in the tunnel right here. So, haven't seen that yet, but it's probably just because another train hasn't gone by. <laughs> um, knowing this route, so. That's probably that. Yeah, that does not look good. It's everything like loading in and it's just like the white gaping hole. But it is what it is. Because everything else is so nice and like dark. And that is just... Ooh, I wonder if you can hear my cat.
All right, looks like we're gonna have all clear going in, hopefully. Uh, I can pick it up a tiny bit here. Get there a couple seconds faster. So, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I don't know what the point of this scenario was. We didn't stop at any reds. We didn't see any service workers, like they said, who were going to. There's not even, look, look at how dead Penn Station is. There's one ALP-46 over there from seeing things right. Um, that's it. Actually, no, there's an ALC-46 over there. Another ALP-46. ACS-64. I think that's what I meant to say. I think I said ALP-46. Let's turn on the bell here. Probably should have looked for some clipping. I finally saw some last night. It actually took me quite some time. Uh, do we have some here? No, no clipping here. But I was just... I had a lot of issues last night. I was in the um, ACS-64 and it was like it was like a full moon. There were so many problems. Why are we breaking so slow? The track just ends? That's hard to believe. What is that? There's no way it just ends like that in real life. What in the world? And we're stuck in the ceiling. Yeah, that is... No way that's right. Like, did they just, like, not bother? I mean, this is a scenario. <laughs> what, is, what is that? Oh, my goodness. All right, we've got about 30 seconds. Let's go out and take a closer look. Door. Yeah, I think they just forgot to add the, um... Like the, I don't know what they're called, but the things that, like, stop the track. There's a third rail for the LIR there. So... That's kind of unfortunate we didn't see any, but, wow, okay, apparently we have to lock the doors for some reason. Yeah, because this is a scenario, so it's going to want us to turn off everything. Alright, um, set the throttle to off, okay, uh, full, po full power's off apparently, okay, that's fine. Cab lights off, Your front lights, not cab lights. Finally at New York Penn before you set up for the return journey. Let's see how you did. Wow. Okay. So that scenario, honestly, total crap. Not impressed at all. Um, pointless. And it's kind of ironic how we ended. We ended at an unfinished piece of track, which is fully representative of this route. I know I didn't talk about it too much, um, at least I hope it didn't sound like I wasn't complaining the whole time, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll be back on this route very soon, so thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you all have a great day.